New Year's Day, January 1st, 2018. We've come down the, come down to the plot to uh, do a little bit of harvesting to collect a little bit of fresh veg. I thought it might be a good idea, seeing as it was the first day of the year, just to have a look around the plot and show what we've got to harvest at this time in the year. The answer is we haven't got an awful lot. We've got a few red cabbages left. Quick look, we have four red cabbages left to harvest. Another reasonably big one there. So, as I said before, something happened to the camera. We've got three red cabbages left to harvest. Alongside those are our Brussels sprouts. We've had some decent sprouts, we had some for Christmas Day. We've still got some left to pick um, and we'll be getting some this afternoon. See in there, we've got some nice sprouts to pick. A few of these dead leaves to come off. but. One of the few things we have left to harvest at the moment so we'll now have a wonder across the plot to where Sue has started harvesting some of our leeks come down and winter wash our fruit trees one day certainly in January if I can I also want to have a go at pruning this self-seeded hawthorn tree it needs some height taken out of it that's going to be an interesting job to avoid damaging the greenhouse So we have a few cabbages, or cauliflowers, or something growing under this mesh. Only coming on slowly, but we may well get something a bit later on in spring. We've got one cabbage left. I'm saving it. Don't know why I'm saving it. more brassicas and some leeks don't know what sort they are till I read the label at the end it looks a bit wet and claggy yeah still looks wet and claggy <laughs> So the labels haven't quite disappeared. Giant winter. Perhaps it's lived up to its reputation then. If we have a wonder down here, we've got some carrots left to harvest. I've been very disappointing this year. We've had a lot of slug damage and some very strange shaped carrots an awful lot of waste that one there looks as though there'll be a fair amount of waste on it the ones in that row look as though they may be a bit better won't know till we dig them up and finally over on this plot we have our parsnips wonder if we'll find another monster like we did on our last digging up session so they're under there not much to show but the ones we've had so far have been really sweet and tasty 
following a bit more cold snowy weather they might be even tastier so that's it that's all we have to harvest at the moment but it's just as well we've got a freezer full of veg some spuds in store some onions some squash crown prince We still haven't cleared the dead tomato plants out of the greenhouse. Another job that needs doing. The cranberries have taken on a really nice red tinge. So I'm going to go help Sue so do a bit of harvesting now, get some carrots up, a few of those parsnips. We could have another fairly large parsnip here, but it's taking some getting out. I might well sort of break the root off again, but I'll see how it goes. have snapped off but there's not much waste on it I've snapped off. Is that a double header? No, they're all single. Oh. Did you do the like that time? <laughs> double header. So I've moved on to harvesting some carrots now. Um, like I say we've had a few up and they've not been all that good. So I'm gonna start on those there and see what that little part of a row gives us. That's what I've got up, a right motley looking crew of partly slug eaten infested carrots. A few have gone straight on the compost heap that are not even worth contemplating taking home. Yeah, I'll give those a wash. We might get a little bit out of them. They do taste good, the little bit we're getting out of them. So there's some rhubarb in there that we need to try and get out.
get that. I'm going to see what I can start with over there. It's now turned into a miserable January afternoon. It's sort of drizzling. It's just miserable. So we've decided to call it quits and head home. So we've also started clearing this the end of this bed with apple trees in and we've got some rhubarb I had rhubarb, it was really just grass we started trying to get stuff out I've obviously got some rhubarb to sort out and there's some still left to dig out it's starting to get a bit wet and claggy it's been, I suppose, a fairly wet week and while Sue's been busy doing that I've started trying to do a bit more clearing on this bed. I've managed to get a bit of the weed control fabric back. It's uh, got lots of weeds have grown through it. As you can see, it's been down for a few years. So weeds have really got a hold, but it's gradually clearing off. As you can see, where I've started to dig it, it's very wet and claggy. Any more rain, I'll probably have to leave it to dry off a bit in spring, but I'm hoping to get it turned over at least once. And now I'll just have a wander up here and uh, show you what we have managed to harvest today. Today's harvest. Not too bad, should keep us going for a few days. And while I've just taken a picture of those, I've just thought of something else that um, we have got to harvest and that I didn't have on my other little bit of video that we may have to harvest that I didn't on my other bit of video. So I'll just have a look and see if we've any beetroot. Know what will have happened to it in the snow and the frost. It's usually fairly hardy. They're all right. I think we've got another couple there. Next to it, some swedes or turnips that, in fact, the swedes that haven't really done anything at all. So, I think that's it now, on a wet, rainy, miserable January afternoon, we're going to pack up, head for home. Hope you enjoyed our little video for this first day of the new year. Thanks for watching. <laughs>